Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sylvia, if this is your first time here. I was a Redken brand ambassador for over two years and a color specialist for over 10 years. I made it on the box of a Redken Shades EQ toner as their toner and blonde specialist, including my toning formulations in this kit. And one thing I feel like I've never really talked about on my channel are the three secrets to really getting your hair toned to the perfect color no matter what the end result is. Whether you're trying to tone out brown brunette hair or you're looking to tone beautiful bright platinum blonde. So tip number one, your lift or your previous highlights need to have lifted to an optimal brightness level. Meaning if you want to be at a level 10, you need to have lifted to a level 10. There is no way that you can lift to a level eight or a level nine and then expect with a toner to reach a level 10. Number two, and this is such a simple one, this is something that intuitively we do as hairdressers right away when we look at the hair, but it's something that I feel like is never talked about. And that is that you always have to tone down at least one level below the level that you are left with with lightning. So say you want to be at a level 10, you've lifted to a level 10, now you need to tone with a level nine. Toning with a level 10 is going to give you very, very, very minimal tonal benefits. If you tone with anything above what you're lifted at, say you lifted only to a level eight, and you're like, I want a level 10, so I'm gonna to tone with a level 10, guess what? Absolutely nothing's gonna to happen to the hair. It is as if you added water to it there will be no toning results visible from that process. And the reason for that is the canvas needs to be bright enough for that really sheer veil of color that a toner is. So if the hair is darker than the toner you're placing on it, you don't end up seeing it. So say you are going for a balayage look and you want blonde ends and you want a diffused soft root, Whatever color you want at the roots, so say you want to end up with a level six at the roots, I would go in with a level five. You want to go in with at least one level darker to really create that shadow. And number three, and the reason why I need to mention this is because I've seen more mistakes done with this situation than any other. And that is to use a toner that is deposit only. So Redken Shades EQ glosses are deposit only. So what that means is it's not lifting the hair and then depositing some color, it is only depositing. That is what a toner should be doing. Anytime that you have a toner that is lifting, that is essentially a color. But instead of depositing browns, dark blondes, it is only depositing like violety, tony shades. But the second that you lift the hair and then deposit, A, you're gonna get a lot less deposit and a lot less benefit from that toner, but also you are lifting the hair. This is only okay over those blonde pieces. If you're thinking, hey, this is a toner I can apply all over, the darker haired areas will also lift, but not lift to a prettier blonde, though most likely the brown pieces will lift to an orange and maybe the blonde areas, they will look okay. So if you know that that's what you're using and you're using it only on the blonde pieces, I'm talking about the toners with the developers, then that can work beautifully if you know what you're working with. But if you're thinking that it's only a toner and you're applying it all over and now you have beautiful blonde ends but super orangey roots, that is a super, super important thing to know of and to consider when you are choosing your toner. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.